Hey everyone, Justin Crumley here with the Cujo Productions channel. Welcome to a Cujo Productions Top 10, or in this case, Top 12. Uh, I want to apologize for delaying this video a bunch of times. A um, lot going on in my life. Really just busy and yeah. So, to make up for all the delays, I decided to make a Top 12 list. So without further ado, here are my top 12 favorite Marvel characters. Starting at number 12, we have the Wasp. Whether it's Janet Van Dyne or Holt Pym from the Ant-Man movie, I really enjoy the presence of this character. I don't think she's a character that could carry her own movie or comic book series. I definitely look at her as a bit of a side character, but nonetheless, Wasp was always awesome. And I think I really grew in a... An affection for, her, and by affection I mean, you know, enough to make a top 12 list. Uh, in the cartoon Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, I loved her in that show. She was so funny. She was, uh, she was a smart ass. Just everything I love in a character. She's witty, funny, depth. She had layers to her. Just an awesome character. I do have a few comic books where she's in. Not too much. But, um... Yeah, I like her in those two, and uh, overall I enjoy this character, and I'm looking forward to her in uh, Ant-Man and Wasp in 2018, I believe that's when that movie comes out. Number 11, Hawkeye. I gotta be honest, guys, I was never really that big on this character until two things. One, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and two, the actual Avengers movie, specifically Age of Ultron. I think that's when this character really became... Uh, more fleshed out, and uh, had some layers to him, some depth. Uh, again, smart ass, and I love that. Um, and it's really funny, because as I said, I wasn't really that big of a fan of this character for a long time until, you know, I saw him on TV, and uh, I actually was reading his, uh, his solo comic book series for a while, uh, until I just... Uh, you know, I ended up losing my job, and I couldn't I couldn't buy comic books no more. Uh, that's a whole different story. Uh, nonetheless, Hawkeye is definitely one of my favorite movies, and I, I really do think he was uh, he was very entertaining in Civil War. I loved it when he showed up. I really loved him in Age of Ultron. He was a big part of the reason that I actually really enjoyed that movie. So yeah, Hawkeye is awesome. Bottom line, number ten is Black Widow, a character with. A lot of layers. I've said that three times. I apologize, but that's really the best way I can describe it. Black uh, Black Widow is a character who has a lot of secrets to her and a lot of depth. And I I like characters with mystery. I like characters with checkered pasts. It uh, to me it always added more to that character. And to me, Black Widow is exactly that. She's a character who knows what's good is a friggin' badass, and, um, yeah, shrouded in mystery, and I feel like the less you know about Black Widow, the better. Maybe not to the extent of the Joker from, you know, DC, but I, I just feel like with Black Widow, the less you know, the better. Natasha's badass, and Scarlett Johansson is an amazing Black Widow. Number nine, we have the God of Thunder from Asgard, Thor. Thor is just a point blank a character who is extremely OP. But what I like about Thor is that while he has all these powers and he and he's almost like unlimited, he's very restrained. He has principles. He has honor. Uh, you know, he puts limits on himself. Uh, now he uh, obviously can do what he wants. Well, maybe not to an extent. If you saw the first Thor movie, you know what I'm talking about. That hammer is awesome, too. Mjolnir, I love the rules behind that thing. And uh, overall, Thor is just a badass, and I enjoy him as a character. Even though his movies are kind of meh, I still love Thor, and I probably always will. Number eight is the Hulk, or Bruce Banner, or whatever you want to call him. Just plain and simple, the Hulk is a ticking time bomb, and he's fucking awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde s kind of story with this character, uh, which ironically enough is what um, Stan Lee was inspired by when creating Bruce Banner and the Hulk. 
Uh, the Hulk is just awesome. Uh, you know, even though the, again, much like Thor, his two solo movies, little on the fence. I really did not like his first movie. I enjoyed The Incredible Hulk. Loved this character in Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron. Looking forward to seeing him in more movies. I think the Hulk is actually a character with a lot of depth. I mean, you know, yeah, he, like I say, he's a ticking time bomb, but there's just, I feel like there's more to him, and that's why I love him. Plus, it's friggin' Hulk. He's been involved with some of the most awesome story arcs in comic books. How can you not like the Hulk? Number seven is Black Panther. This just straight up awesome character. One of the coolest characters in all the comic books. I love how this guy always seems to be one step ahead of his opponent. He's very intelligent, very strategic, while also being a friggin' badass. Plus, I love his suit, especially in the movie Civil War. It was just awesome. It looked awesome. Literally looked like it leaped from the pages. And, uh... T'Challa as a character, I just really love him. I love his story. I love his background. I love uh, his, you know, much like Thor, he has his principles. And uh, unlike most Marvel characters, Black Panther doesn't crack any jokes. He's not, you know, and that's not to say he's not funny, but he's not a guy who's very, you know, laid back. He's always very by the book, very business. And I do like that. I like when, uh, I like having that kind of balance in characters. There's not a lot of jokes and humor to this guy. He's just a badass. As I said, always one step ahead of his opponents. And uh, I'll tell you what, I would not want to challenge this guy to a fight or a foot race. If you've seen Civil War, you know what I'm talking about. Number six is Iron Man slash Tony Stark, whatever you want to call him. Or uh, Playboy Genius, Billionaire, Philanthropist. Yeah, there's a lot of names to this guy. Uh, Iron Man... Simply put, one of the funniest characters, especially in the movies, Robert Downey Jr. plays that role to a T. I can't imagine anyone else playing him. Um, but uh, there's more than just humor and, you know, all the other stuff I listed. There's depth. There's something there. There's a conscience. He knows the difference between right and wrong. And uh, he's, well, he's a smartass. So why the hell not? I couldn't keep him off this list. Iron Man is freaking awesome. Number five, we have Wanda Maximoff, otherwise known as the Scarlet Witch. Now, remember what I said about a character with mystery and a bit of a checkered past? Well, this one fits the bill, only I think I like Wanda a little more than Black Widow. Uh, I know she's new, and I know I'm probably not going to be the most popular guy in the world for saying that, but it's my own opinion nonetheless. I love this character. Uh, she was another character I really didn't pay much attention to until the movies, uh, specifically Age of Ultron. I, I liked her. I liked how she was very vulnerable, even though she had these powers. Um, she was she seemed very vulnerable, very, very much like she couldn't do things on her own. And that can be a little annoying, but it wasn't like they beat it over your head. And I, I loved what she did with Hawkeye's speech at the uh, at the one part in Age of Ultron. And then in uh, Civil War, I think she was a lot better. You know, I think she was more fleshed out. And really, just, again, just how, like, human this character is. I really love that, especially in comic book characters, uh, fictional characters in general. I love when they are vulnerable. And to me, Scarlet Witch is probably the most vulnerable, you know, or at least one of the most in the Marvel movies. Maybe not so much in the comic books, but... Yeah. In any case, I love this character, and that's why she's number five. Coming to number four, we have Deadpool, the merc with the mouth. What needs to be said about this character? Deadpool is a mixture of badass and just friggin' hilarious. Anything that this guy says is almost always guaranteed to be funny. Not always. As I said, he is a badass character, but just Deadpool to me is just... Is, uh, more or less the adult version of Spider-Man, only a little more, I think, I, I'd say a little more riskier and a little more ballsier, but, um, yeah, Deadpool is freaking amazing, and his movie, his solo movie just made me love him that much more, Breaking the Fourth Wall, absolutely funny, funny stuff, and it's really funny because this character is, uh, is a parody of a DC character, Deathstroke, which, <laughs> in and itself, is just hilarious. 
Uh, there really isn't anything I dislike about Deadpool. He might not be my favorite character, but he's definitely one of the funniest, and he is deserving of the number four spot on my list. Number three is Captain America, basically the embodiment of everything good, everything honorable, depending on the way you look at good and honorable. Uh, a lot of people would probably say, oh, Captain America's a Boy Scout, oh, goody, goody. And to an extent, you would be right, but I think the movies, especially with what the Russo brothers have done, have really brought a lot of depth to this character. And in Winter Soldier and Civil War, you really got to see that depth. And Captain America is, I mean, he's awesome. He's number three on my list for a reason. I really love the depth, and uh, yeah, he, as I said, he can be a bit of a Boy Scout. But uh, in that, he's not, you know, not a Boy Scout in every sense of the word. He just, you know, he has his beliefs, he has his code of honor, and he follows what he believes to be right. And I really enjoy that in uh, in superheroes. Um, plus, uh, yeah, in case you guys are wondering, I was Team Cap in Civil War. Sorry, Iron Man. You're awesome, but I'm still Team, team Cap. Coming to number two, Wolverine. Everyone's favorite badass himself. Yes, Wolverine. I mean, what, what else do I need to say? He's just a badass. Uh, but besides that, much like every other character, uh, specifically to uh, um, Scarlet Witch and uh, Black Widow, there's a lot of mystery to Wolverine. Like, uh, the whole Weapon X thing and his memory gets all messed up. He has a very checkered past. And, uh, you know, his whole thing, you know, he, he knows the difference between right and wrong. And he is a hero. Actually, I guess he you could say he's a bit of an anti-hero because he, he kills, but... I don't really care. Wolverine was always one of my favorite characters. When I was a kid, he was easily my favorite character in the in the 90s X-Men cartoon, which just badass. I still love watching old clips of that show on YouTube. Uh, but Wolverine, man, uh, just awesome. Hugh Jackman plays that character to a T, and I just I can't imagine anyone else in the role. I'm really bummed that we're only going to get to see him one more time. But uh, we're getting an R-rated Wolverine movie, which is just freaking awesome, and I cannot wait to see that. To end it off, Wolverine is a badass. Plain and simple. And number one, Spider-Man. You had to know this was coming. Guys, I am a Spider-Man fanboy. Him in Civil War was just freaking awesome. Yes, I thought it was perfect. Tom Holland was absolutely amazing as both Peter Parker and Spider-Man. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man, really, uh, just a character I honestly think I can relate the most to as far as comic book characters go. Uh, you know, I, I may have said before in a past video that I was never really the most popular guy. Uh, I did get, you know, in elementary school, I was kind of picked on here and there. In middle school, probably where I got it worse. I wasn't, like, bullied to the point of, like, where I just wanted to get out because, you know, whatever, but... Peter Parker to me was uh, was that kind of guy. He wasn't very popular. He uh, he was kind of picked on, and uh, really the amazing thing about Spider Man, again, no pun intended, is just the story behind him. Because at the time this character was created, teenagers were mostly just sidekicks and you know all that all that bullshit. Spider Man did kind of break through with all that and showed that even nerdy little teenagers can be heroes too uh plus spider-man is just hilarious he he's so funny uh he, and what really interests me is he uses his humor to distract his villains he's intelligent and i just love it there's a lot of layers to him he carries a lot of guilt uh you can say a bit of a checkered past but not 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 to the extent of like scarlet witch wolverine black widow but there's something there you know his uncle ben's death he regrets it it makes him who he is Spider-Man will always be my favorite Marvel character and favorite comic book character in general. I love Spider-Man. Alright everyone, you've seen my list, you've heard my opinion, you've seen my 12 favorite Marvel characters. I want to know some of your favorite Marvel characters. Uh, do you have a top 12, top 10, do you just want to talk about one in particular, whatever. 
Throw it in the comment section down below. I'm really curious to see what you guys can come up with. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope it gets better. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my designs on redbubble.com. All that down below in the, in the description below. Links and everything. Uh, again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me on this. I'm, I'm really sorry I couldn't get this out when I wanted to. But uh, anyhow, until next time, I'm Justin Crumley, and this is Cujo Productions, signing out.